What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a YouTuber merch part two. So it's probably named worst YouTuber merch because a lot of these aren't the best, but there are some in here that I really like. Probably the best merch that I think on YouTube. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But also the last video I did on this, if you didn't see, since this is a part two, the first one had a little bit of mixed reviews. Probably my most disliked video, but also still has like three or four times the amount of likes on it. So there's still a lot of good feedback on it. And that's because of what I said about Rice Gums merch, but I didn't really say anything bad necessarily. Just one of the shirts I didn't really like as far as the jeans go. I didn't really have a full opinion on it because I didn't have them with me. And I was gonna buy them for a video, but they sold out. So I guess he's doing something right. And I do not dislike Rice Gum. I think he has the best diss tracks on YouTube, to be honest, actually. So it goes from people saying I hate him on there and why am I hating on him to the next video people are saying I'm liking him too much. And I'm not gonna use the proper term for that, what people were saying, but you can probably get the gist of it. And also a lot of people tried to flame me for just using his name or his face in the thumbnail to get views. I mean, that's what a lot of YouTubers do. Like if you don't know, Ricegum kind of built himself up off of going against other YouTubers and using him for diss tracks. It's kind of how like the YouTube system works. So basically I'm just gonna break down some of the top YouTubers merch, just kind of give my opinions on it from a fashion sense. And now I'm not saying I have the best merch because I don't. I've only come out with two t-shirts and they're very simple and I don't think that I'm the best designer in the world at all. But I thought since I'm a fashion and streetwear YouTuber, why not just give my opinions on it because some of you guys value that opinion and I'm not trying to sit here and destroy anybody and try to roast them. I'm just going over my opinions on it. First up for the merch, we're doing Jake Paul. Now I did film a Jake Paul with the last video, but Jacob and I had talked too much about all the different merches and we only be able to put out half of the amount that we actually filmed and that was because it was gonna make a 25 minute long video. So let's just go ahead and just get into this. So first up, I think this is one of the more recent hoodies that Jake Paul came out with right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that one up right there. So Jake Paul has like phone cases, he has like hoodies and stuff like that. One thing I wanna talk about is there's this also this uh, satin jacket right here. The first thing would be this hoodie right here. Now, to me, when I see this hoodie, it kind of looks like something you would see in like the modded car world, or something like that. Just kind of like all the logos around and stuff like that. The font's pretty nice. It looks like the top font is just Bay Boss New or however you pronounce that. It's got kind of their logos down the side, which is a good idea, I guess. And then the back, it has like half signature, half of like the, I guess that's Chinese writing on the back. And it says the Jake Pauler status hoodie, but it says like the Jake Pauler's everywhere. So I don't know exactly what this hoodie is meant to be. Maybe you guys will have some better on that. Has some decent colors. I don't know about the quality of this stuff and like all the merch I'm gonna talk about, I don't have with me, so I can't talk about the quality. So I'm basically just gonna be talking about the look of it. This isn't bad. With Jake Paul and all the merch he comes out with, I understand why it sells and that is because his audience is more of like an entertainment fan base. So they're looking at this merchandise in terms of it being from him. So they're not looking at it from the aspects of a designer prospect and I don't think he is either. He's just looking at something to represent him which will have like his signature or something like that. Now the one thing I'll say that I don't actually mind would be this satin jacket. Now the back of it, I don't mess with. Where it says Team Tim, nope, see ya. But the jacket itself, I actually have a red satin jacket if you watch my last video that I was wearing. And I've had that jacket for probably a month now, but I've never really worn it in a video. So I actually like it and somebody commented and said, you stole Nick Crompton's uh, bomber jacket. I'm trying to beg him, but I've had that jacket for like a month now. I don't know when these came out, but I honestly didn't even know that they had these till I looked it up this morning or actually I saw the comment on my picture that I posted last night. And then I looked them up and saw that they actually sold them. But this isn't that bad. I mean, I don't know how the quality is, but the quality on the one that I have is like crazy and I love the look of it and red is out there. So I don't think this is a bad piece at all for a YouTuber, it seems different for him. I'm surprised that he actually came out with something like this and I don't really mind it, but I would like it if it didn't have Team 10 at all on it because I like simplicity. And this is mine that I was talking about, if you guys are curious, it's from other UK. You guys might've seen it in the last video, but this is like crazy quality and it's pretty much the same as a satin jacket and has like the stripes on the bottom and stuff. Okay, I'm adding this in the middle. I actually just realized after I finished filming, I forgot one key person's merch to this and that's rice gum he had a new piece of merch that dropped since the last video but it was right after that video so that's why i kind of forgot about it because it hasn't come out yet and he hasn't been talking about it as much and that is the tracksuit that he came out with so it says ryce which is the merchandise line that he has and it is just a tracksuit. You'll see it up on the screen. It's got the lines down the side and then the rice is in red. This, I don't think is that bad to be honest. I don't think it looks bad. I think it has that right look, but it is just straight taking the Gucci tracksuit that came out. So that'll be up on the screen as well. So basically the Gucci tracksuit, if you don't know, it's this exact thing. It's sweatpants and a jacket that have Gucci down the side and this pretty exact same font and style, which I don't think this is bad. I think this looks good, but it is kind of just like taking that same style and taking it from Gucci, which it's kind of like the Goyard case where he's just trying to give people that style for just kind of a cheaper alternative. 
so i don't think it's that bad but he's just straight ripping the brand's logo for that and for this it's just kind of like i mean it's not bad and i think it looks good would i wear the, the actual gucci tracksuit yeah i would i like it it's just stupid expensive so that's why i understand why it's coming out with these i don't know the price point or anything yet because he hasn't actually released them he just kind of teased them on social media on snapchat mainly I don't think it's going to be bad. I think it's kind of a cool look. If it's going to be expensive, I don't know about it. If you like that look where you like the similar to Gucci and you don't have the money to afford Gucci, then you can go ahead and buy it. For me, I don't know if I'd purchase them for me to wear personally. I, I, I wouldn't, but I don't know. I probably wouldn't, but I mean, I'd probably get them for a video. So maybe I'll have to do that, get those and try to find the jeans for a video. But that's a little bit of rice gum that I wanted to add in there because obviously everybody saw rice gum off my last video so we could talk about him in this one. So if you're watching because you're like a fan of Jake Paul or rice gum or something like that and you don't know who Richie is, he's probably the biggest fashion YouTuber right now. He does fashion and sneakers, has around 700,000 subscribers and he has his own line where it's an actual clothing line. And a lot of people wanted me to give my opinions on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down now. I gotta give credit where it's due. I know that Richie Lee's merch has very high quality because I kind of know about the process of what being made and whatnot. I can't really get into specifics about that, but I think that his stuff is good for the price of merchandise because I, know, I don't know if it's considered merchandise. I would say it's more of a collection, more of like a designer collection from him. It's his designing and whatnot and stuff like that. So this is the most recent collection. The last one had pants and other hoodies and t-shirts as well. And some people complained about the price of that. So like these shirts right here are $28, which you might think is a little bit steep for a t-shirt, but if it's quality like you're getting from a certain designer, if you're picking out the shirt and you're doing it from cut and sew, then it's gonna be more expensive. And I think that $28 is not a bad price. These shorts as well, I don't wear shorts too much. Now I do have some shorts I've been wearing recently that are like a suede short that I could maybe throw up on the screen if you guys wanna see it. And it's kind of similar to this, has the drawstrings. I think that this is not a bad price, $42. I would honestly say $35 would probably be a comfortable price for most people, but as you guys can see, it's got a lot of stitching. It's got the nice ribbing around there. I have to get it in my hands to kind of fully see it, but these shorts don't look like they're bad quality. And Richie Lee tweeted out a little bit ago and said, what YouTuber should I send my merch to? And a lot of people tagged me, so hopefully I can maybe get that in the future so I can give my full opinions on it in hand. But he also came out with stuff like this, which is this hoodie that has a zip all the way up, which I really like. Now the color is not exactly my favorite color, and it looks Looks like they probably sold out you yeah, have all the sizes except double x which is really good they had a gray one i remember and i think that olive one as well that's a really nice looking hoodie it's like a very simple hoodie and has a nice zip i think that is a good look 48 dollars is actually a really good price and also you have a flannel right here i don't know about the quality of these the colors are a little bit different for me i don't know if i would exactly wear this because you know my colors are more neutral i wear like black white and gray but i know that these look like they would have a nice fit and that's part of like the, the trends of what's going on with streetwear right now and i mean i think it's a good look and i really want to say good job to richie lee for coming out with stuff like this because it's different a lot of youtubers just come out with the same kind of merch where they just throw their name on like the front of a shirt and i haven't even come out with anything besides that yet and so that's why I gotta give him props. So hopefully this video isn't too long at this point, but the last person I wanna put in is Kais Omar. Now, a lot of people asked about his merchandise as well. So Kais has a lot of merchandise that he takes inspiration from other brands and he admits that. So he takes like a similar thing. Like at first it was like the Kanye West, I feel like Pablo style shirt where he had like his different things, like all the sudden fam and stuff on the back of it, as well as he had some stuff on the front. And then it kind of transformed to different things like Palace, Anti-Social Club and things like that. Now, my opinions on that is that he's saying and admitting that he's taking those designs and putting his own twist on it, and he's not saying he's a designer, so I don't think there's really a big of a problem with that just because he's admitting it. He's not saying that it's an original design, so I don't think there's too big of a problem like that because a lot of people like those designs, and it's just kind of a thing where you're giving that like hype beast or like popular thing and your own twist on it. So some people like that. His most recent merch, as you can see right here, he's got the hat, all the sudden fam. I don't think that's a bad hat at all. I mean, you got the shorts as well. I think they're champion shorts. Very similar to that Kanye kind of style of these shorts. They're a little bit different, the tour all of a sudden. And then you have the hoodie right there with kind of like the electric thing on the side. And the logo where it says Dream Crew is very similar to, or it's actually like the same as the Yeezus font from when the Yeezus tour. Kais is a big fan of Kanye and he's made that apparent in a lot of his stuff. Then we have this most recent one, which is a 3M bomber jacket, which I actually got to give big props to Kais for making that. So it looks like it's just like a gray bomber jacket, but it's actually got embroidered on the front and it's actually 3M as well. So I'm gonna see if I can pull up a picture. If you guys can see, it's a 3M uh, different. So here's the picture of it with the flash. So that's kind of crazy because I know that there's a couple different brands that have like that full 3M jacket, like Nike and Adidas and whatnot. So I think that's actually really cool for him to come out with something like that because I know that's not cheap to make. And so 
It's probably a little bit expensive. And on the side, I think it says uh, like one of a hundred or something. He's doing a certain amount per cities. And then the back, it says Dream Crew and it has the embroidery on the back as well, which I, I'm impressed. I mean, Kais used good materials in this. This is a nice jacket and it's 3M, which not a lot of YouTubers have come out with full jackets that are 3M. So I got to give him props for that. And then we're going to go ahead and look at some of the other ones. So he's supposed to be coming out with this denim jacket that says Dream Crew with the similar Yeezus. And I guess I said Yeezus before, but I more aligns mean Metallica. So there is that one, the Yeezus that looks like that, but that is the Metallica font. So I need to correct myself now. I'm going to put that over the other one before I even say that because people might get mad at me, but it's the Metallica font more or less with the Dream Crew on it on a bomber jacket. Now I guess he's trying to do more lifestyle than t-shirts so he's giving out more things and that's a small logo so there's not too much going on and it's just nice and simple which I don't think is bad at all but we haven't seen the actual denim jacket yet and then we just have like one more thing here. I'm not going to go over all of it because he has a ton of merch but just one like this where it says Texas Crew is very similar to the Yeezy 350 V2 font where it's kind of got that stripe so I don't think that's bad and I think that the fact that Kais embraces that he's taking these different designs putting his own twist on it is okay by me. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'm not here to stir up controversy I'm just here to give my opinions on different merchandise because a lot of you guys don't know my opinions because you follow me for my different opinions on things so I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you have any other YouTubers maybe at part three let me know down below these are the majority of the ones that I've seen and I guess that's it if you enjoyed leave a like down below subscribe here if you're new and I'll see you guys next time it's Harrison signing out Sky. But I don't even know where we are